Hi everyone, welcome back. This next video is a video on a, the double threshold training. Um, Inga Britson's famous for doing this and I just want to go through some training I found online. There's an article from Marius Bakken and he goes through this double threshold training where essentially on a Tuesday you're doing two threshold runs, AM and PM, same on Thursday and Saturday we call this the X where you're doing sort of faster, more intense hill reps or sprints where you're getting your lactic reading up to eight. So on the two double threshold sessions on the Tuesday and Thursday, you want to keep these controlled, something around half marathon pace, marathon pace in the morning. As you can see, he's got 2.5 millimole and 3.5 millimole on the Tuesday and Thursday. So that means controlled, you want to finish the second session feeling like you can do a few more reps for me it's around 5 30 per mile maybe even in the morning 5 40 per mile about marathon pace so use a calculator find out what your paces are and if you can't afford a lactic meter to do this properly because they are quite expensive then just kind of go off heart rate or go off pace on your garmin watch or, or coros watch or whatever you use so i just want to take you through how I sort of got on with my first double threshold training session. I've been having sore feet from the Suka shoes, so I'm actually going to do this first one in the Hoka shoes. So this is me warming up, rant amble, and done a few reps, tried to keep it controlled. The first session was four times a mile, and to be honest, I messed up a little bit. I got carried away. I was feeling really good, and I ended up doing the third rep in five minutes, which is way too quick. And as you can see from my lactic reading later on, in the session later on at night, my lactic reading was actually a bit too high. Look at this. This is why I love doing morning and night runs, because you miss out on the sunset. This run along this river is lush. A little ford there, with all the birds on the top, and then the castle in the background. So moving on, this is the session number two, and I met all the lads at Morpeth. So I run for Morpeth Harriers. So we have Andy, Thomas, and Peter, and myself. So the session was this one we normally do along the railway line. So it's five times four minutes, and then the last four minutes is broken up into two, two minutes. So the plan for this session was obviously I could push it a little bit harder than the morning session, but we sort of went off around 5 minute 20 pace on the first one because it was a tempo and then on the second rep we sort of ended up doing about 5 minute myelin so this is probably a bit too quick again so if you're going to try this learn from my mistake because at the end of this session my lactic reading was over 8 which is only supposed to be on a Saturday following the schedule so if I was going to do this session again I would probably slow down to 520s sort of half marathon pace. So this is just a little walk up the hill recovery. We had a one minute 30 jog. This is rep four, I believe, heading back over to the train station. So I was just doing a bit of filming of Andy. He had Berlin Marathon coming up and he actually ran 2.31, which is really good considering he had a cold. This is rep five, heading back down. Last sort of long four minute rep. The guys are flying as you can see. Thomas dropped the hammer there. He ended up running about 4.50 per mile. And then this is the two minute rep number one. This was sub five minute mile and again. So Peter and Thomas, as you can see, they're going really well. Andy's That's strong as well. Right, wearing the new, that brand new Alpha Flies, Kipchoge edition. So after the session, Peter was showing us how to use the lactic meter. This lactic meter can be bought on Amazon and I think it's about £30. So what you do is you put the the lactic tab in the bottom of the meter, wait for it to turn on and sort of use the prick, get, put it in your finger or your earlobe and you can easily just put it towards your finger, insert the sort of blood into the bottom of the lactic meter as Peter's doing here now. So you just tilt it in 
the strip sort of absorbs the blood and then you just wait for the reading and as you can see as was 8.8 .8, which is quite high and this is mine 8.6 so considering it's supposed to be 3.5 we got a bit carried away so this is the session 5.30 for the first tempo 5.04, 4.59, 5.01 and then sub 5 for the rest so yeah give it a shot let's see how you get on lactic strips can be bought on Amazon and the meat has only about £30 so it's worth investing if you really want to get into this sort of type of training so yeah if you can like, comment and subscribe and leave a comment if you want I'll answer any questions and get back to you as soon as I can